Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Today we are at Sunreef, and this is the third Sunreef that we filmed on as Denison. We're so happy to introduce you to these boats. Here you're gonna see the 70 sail, and we're gonna get on board the 60 sail. This is a new launch for Sunreef, and we're gonna show you some details on board. We're gonna kick things off on the back of the Sunreef, and as typical, this has the platform that goes across. Again, this is for our tenders, as well as it forms a teak beach all the way across. You'll see it does have a passerelle here that retracts in when it's not in use. So on floating docks, this is a really great area to enter. And then the other nice thing is this area here can become an entertaining area at nighttime. So we can actually lift the platform up. We have the safety pins here and this whole area can extend the uh, cockpit area and the social area of the boat. Okay, so walking into the cockpit area of Alande One, what you're gonna notice is we have some really beautiful materials here. Again, lovely teak table to match the cockpit teak here. We do have a uh, wet bar here for some uh, cold storage, and then these are the stairs that go up. One thing I love on this boat is the teak is both on the exterior and the interior. Here we have four doors that slide open. You can use just one at a time, two, or fully expansive like this when you want to connect the salon with the cockpit area. This boat has a raised galley and center line. We have really nice material here. What Sunreef has done is they're really focused on eco and sustainability. And what you're gonna notice is this has a lot of ceramic surfaces, but they are much lighter than actual stone itself. So very nice. With the galley up, this is a really great platform to actually entertain. So if you wanted to have like cooking classes or any other like fun events on the boat, you could certainly do that. As well as we're seeing a lot of people go with galley up for more of a family uh, type environment. It has a lot of room and it actually feels much bigger than a regular production catamaran. And that's what we love about the new beginning range from Sunreef. It's really the only mega cat or line of mega cats that's on the market right now. And you can see on the exterior of the boat, because it does have the bulwarks that go up, massive amount of freeboard, that all translates into just huge volume on this boat. So as a 60 foot boat, it really does feel much, much larger. Over on the starboard side, what you're gonna see is we've got a L-shaped settee here, as well as a raised area. And then another feature that I love on all of the sun reefs is these large windows that you have. Here, center line, this is where you have the ship systems. So the nice thing about Sunreef is they have a uh, integrated system that controls everything. So all the uh, tankage, uh, as far as uh, diesel, water, all of that can be monitored from here. You can also control all the lights. So if you have uh, under, underwater lights, those are turned on and off here, as well as all the lights can be just turned on and off with one click of the button. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and step down and check out the cabins. We're gonna start over here on the starboard side. So as we head down here into the master, what you're gonna see is we've got a really big athwart ship bunk. So really nice use of space, signature three vertical windows there. I really love, again, the earth tones and the woodwork in this area, absolutely beautiful. You're gonna see again, we've got our USBs, regular outlets, and induction charging available. We do have large hanging lockers, both inboard and outboard, and at the base of the steps. And then moving into the head, you're gonna see the teak runs all the way through here. And you've got a beautiful counter here, the three signature uh, windows that open up. And then behind the mirrors here and behind these panels, we have additional storage. So really a lot of storage area in the master on this boat. Finally, you're gonna see we have a really nice shower here with the rain fixture. Again, nice elegant drain. And then this is a beautiful use of the ceramic sustainable material. So we've got nice earth tones here. We've got what feels like stone, but is actually a lighter and more sustainable material. Moving forward on the starboard side, we're gonna enter one of our guest cabins. Now what you'll see here, we've got a nice athwart ship bunk and it's just a really nice, warm, safe space to be in. Okay, from here, we're gonna go over and check out the port side. So over here on the port side, what you're gonna see is Alande actually has a second master. So this master is configured a little bit differently than the one on the starboard side, but another beautiful cabin. We have our three signature windows, the athwart ship berth, and then this area is really cool. We actually have an ensuite 
washer dryer right here in your closet. So really nice use of space, very functional, and this is a great boat for a family. Another feature that I like is the boat has crew quarters. The crew quarters is behind this section here, and it's really nice to have the closet and the washer dryer in between. That kind of separates the guest from the crew so you won't have any noise between the different cabins. Moving forward in the second master, you'll note the beautiful wood tones again and the teak that flows through into the ensuite. This is a really nice ensuite here. We do have the vertical windows, so you've got a great view and connection with the water when you're in this area. Okay, so we're gonna leave the guest cabins for now and head up and check out the bow and the flybridge. So walking through the watertight door, we've got two steps up to the main deck here. It's really nice to have this trampoline area. This is a favorite for the family and guests when on board. This is a great area to lounge out and check out some dolphins cruising by. One of my favorite parts about this boat is the sunken in forward lounge area. And what you see here, this is a great area to enjoy some cocktails. And it's really nice. The threshold of the boat actually is clear the whole way through. One small feature about having the forward door as well is if you want to get natural ventilation through the boat itself, this will create airflow entirely through. So it's really awesome to have a forward area to hang out here as well as we have four day beds. This is the emergency access into the guest cabin. And then over on the port side, there is another fitted out area in the four peak for crew. So this boat is sufficient for a crew of three uh, when you're out chartering for a longer period of time. If you're not, you could use that as a storage area as well. Looking up at the flybridge, what you're gonna see is we have a really nice stainless steel enclosure there, and then that has glass on it so you can see up to the sail itself. Alande has a really big carbon fiber setup, and it's really designed to be slightly faster than the other boats. It's designed for some performance. We're gonna go ahead and check out the flybridge next. If you've never been on a sunroof before, this is gonna blow you away. This vessel is entirely different than any other production catamarans on the market. What you're gonna see, we got the beautiful teak that runs the whole way across. Again, this is a really nice hard top here based out of beautiful stainless steel. We have panels here so we can see up to the sky and check and see what's going on with the sail. Back here, we have center line, a beautiful teak table, L-shaped settee, just a lovely area to hang out. Starboard aft, we've got a full-size grill for entertaining. Really, really nice area. A few other things. We have this uh, beautiful carbon fiber boom here, and the crew can easily get up to check on the sail and make adjustments. So I really love the shape of this hard top and the feeling of it. Over on the starboard side, you're gonna note we have some workout equipment as well as an e-foil. So the owners of this boat like to enjoy their time on the water while sailing and at anchor. Walking across the front part of the flybridge here, over on the port side, you're gonna see this is the helm. Center line, we've got nice Harkin power winches, and you'll notice that the controls for those are there directly below the winches. Over here at the helm, we get a nice carbon fiber wheel, really nice elegant control station. I've got great visibility to these three corners of the boat, and we have a camera system to the starboard aft. So really great place to drive the boat and also to uh, navigate when you're under sail. On behalf of myself, Tony, and the rest of the team at Denison, thanks for checking out the Sunreef 60 sale. Specifically, we want to say a special thanks to the whole team at Sunreef. Marta and Marta helped us out both days. Arthur showed us around the boat when we really had a warm welcome from the whole team here. If you're in the market for a luxury catamaran, please feel free to reach out at the info below and make sure you check out the Sunreef lineup of sail and power catamarans.